I'm Lee with Midgley Huber. I'm here to go over the bag in, bag out filter. Um, we're going to watch a short okay. video on it that will explain how to change the filters on it. Okay. Since 1937, we've been the world's leading designer and manufacturer of filtration equipment. Our products protect people, machines, and the environment. We provide clean air solutions for some of the toughest contaminant problems in the world. To perform the filter replacement on the Campful Far Bag In, Bag Out filter housings, maintenance workers should be clothed in Tyvek coveralls, hard hat, safety glasses, gloves and gas mask if applicable. Use these guidelines along with any amendment or procedures of your company's safety policies. You will need a ratchet with extension and an 11 16 inch socket. A banding kit, available through Campful Far, can assist in the change out of the filter and will be shown in this demonstration video. The twist and tape method can also be used and will be described in this video also. Prior to replacing a contaminated filter, the airflow through the filtration system must be stopped. This can be performed by either shutting down the system or bypassing the airflow through the system to another system. To minimize contamination, close upstream and downstream dampers. It is also a good idea to have a table nearby or change out shelf, available through Campful Far, to place the new and old filters during changeout. Prior to beginning changeout procedures, consult your safety officer to ensure all proper procedures are followed for your specific application. Gain access to the inside of the filtration housing by removing the housing access door. Pull the access door straight toward you to remove. Place the access door in a safe location out of the way until the filter changeout is complete. Next, extend the changeout bag fully. For gasket seal locking mechanisms, turn the drive bolt fully open to release the filter from the sealing surface. For fluid seal locking mechanisms, release the handle latch and slowly open the locking mechanism by pulling the handle fully open, thus pulling the filter away from the knife edge sealing surface. Carefully remove the filter from inside the filtration housing by inserting your arms into the change-out bag gloves and pulling the filter into the change-out bag. Use a table or change-out shelf to place the filter after removing the housing. Remove your arms from the change-out bag gloves, leaving gloves in bag. Once the filter is removed from the housing into the change-out bag, tightly twist the change-out bag together between the filter access port and the contaminated filter. Using the materials from the banding kit, tie strap approximately 8 inches of the twisted bag to secure. Place two metal straps around the change-out bag, in between the tie straps, and tighten to hold twisted part of the change-out bag securely. Cut completely through the change-out bag in the middle of this section, leaving a stub bag on the bagging ring of the housing. Tape over the exposed edges where the bag was cut. Remove the contaminated filter in the bag for disposal. An alternate method is the twist and tape method. Tightly twist the change-out bag together between the filter access port and the contaminated filter. Use duct tape to wrap around the twisted section of the change-out bag, taping approximately 8 to 10 inches of the bag as tightly as possible. Cut completely through the change-out bag in the middle of this section, leaving a stub bag on the bagging ring of the housing. Tape over the exposed edges where the bag was cut. Remove the contaminated filter in the bag for disposal. Remove the change-out bag security strap, leaving the stub bag on the bagging ring of the housing. Move the stub bag shock cord in between the two raised ribs on the bagging ring. If there is more than one filter to remove from the housing, place a new change-out bag around the bagging ring. Locate the shock cord between the housing and second raised rib of the bagging ring with the seam of the bag located on top of the bagging ring. 
Remove the stub bag from the bagging ring, pulling it to the back of the new changeout bag. Reinstall the security strap around the new changeout bag. Pull the next filter inside the new changeout bag. Band and cut the bag as before, leaving a stub bag on the bagging ring. Repeat these steps until all the filters are removed from the housing. You should have a stub bag remaining on the bagging ring after all filters are removed. Always use a new changeout bag for each filter being removed from the housing. Unpackage the new filter in accordance with Camphalfar's instructions. If installing gasket seal filter, apply a thin layer of silicone grease to the gasket area. Place a new changeout bag over a new filter to be installed. If installing a fluid seal filter, make sure the new filter is oriented so that when placed inside of the filtration housing, the filter clips will align with the locking tray angles. Carefully pull the shock cord of the changeout bag to the bottom of the filter. Pull the remainder of the bag down until the filter is at back of the changeout bag. Turn the filter over and pull the bag up. Place the new filter in the new changeout bag on a table or changeout shelf. Install the new changeout bag with filter around the bagging ring over the top of the stub bag as before. Reinstall the security strap. Insert arm into the changeout bag glove closest to housing and remove the stub bag from the bagging ring. Pull as much of the stub bag as possible into the glove while turning the glove inside out. Use one of the other gloves to help push the entire stub bag into the glove turned inside out. Slide the new filter into the filtration housing. If there is more than one filter to install, prepare the filter as before and place the new changeout bag with filter around the bagging ring over the top of the stub bag. Remove the stub bag from the bagging ring, pulling it to the back of the new changeout bag and install the new filter. Band and cut the bag as before, leaving a stub bag on the bagging ring. Repeat these steps until all the filters are installed in the housing. You should have a stub bag remaining on the bagging ring after all filters are removed. Always use a new changeout bag for each filter being installed. Seal the filter by closing the locking mechanism. Extend the bag out completely. Fold and roll the bag toward the housing until the bag is tucked neatly between the bagging ring and the filter access port. While holding the changeout bag in this position, replace the housing access door carefully. Tighten the doorknobs alternately by turning clockwise until the door is sealed against the housing. The filtration system is now ready for operation. Open upstream and downstream dampers and restart the system or redirect bypass airflow through the system. Okay, so here's our bag in, bag out, filter housing. Um, this will be your main HEPA filter, this will be your pre-filter. Uh, we got gauges on each. If you've got to change it, make sure you valve it off. You've got an inlet valve. you got a valve on each side of it to make sure we valve it off to make sure nothing's going to get out. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's pretty much putting the tray here, like they said in the video. Unscrewing these, you need to have several bags, several filters here. I recommend if you're going to do it, a couple extra bags sitting here. In case something goes wrong, you have some extra bags here. So, but I'd always tell you, just let somebody else do their job and let them take care of it. Where does this continue to go mile at? Up on the roof? I have no idea. Yes, it goes out. You do have this purge mode, which is a feature in the labs. Press that, and that'll increase the airflow. And uh, that's other than that, that's, that's all there is to this thing. 
So is there just one pre filter and one other filter? Correct. In, in this in this particular unit, yes. So yep. In this particular unit, there's one filter in each section, and that's it. Yeah, yeah Ray can do that in 12, 14 hours. Yep. Um, on the pre filter up here, do you use the same uh, process to take out the pre filter? Well, that's yep. Because it's seen the first, it's the first in line. Yeah. It's got all the crap in it. Yep, both of them require the same process to get both filters in and out. Well, one, one thing they really ought to consider is raising those kind of noise diffusers. Yeah. Cut those off and get them out of the way. Keep right at the good point. That'd be a pain in the ass to work around then. In a March The biggest issue you're going to have with changing this out is whatever's in the hood will not be exhausting. When you got to do this, most of these have some form of a bypass, so we can open this up, bypass around the filter for a little bit of time, change, but then whatever's in the hood still is exhausted. This one does not I take it. I don't see anything. <laughs> now maybe whatever you have in here is really not that bad. This is just a precautionary. Radio isotope. So. 